Hey guys, it's Lee here from Click Studios bringing you a video today of how to install the self-destruct messages portal, which is a new feature we have introduced in 8488, which allows you to separate the install out of the self-destruct portal from your main password state website. Um, for the purposes of installing the portal in something like a secure location, like a DMZ, which you can then expose outside of your network and have people connecting into just that portal instead of your main password state website to retrieve their self-destruct messages. So I will log into my password state website now and I'll just show you the quick process of how long it takes to install the portal onto a machine. If we go to system settings and then under the self-destruct messages tab you'll notice that there's a little bit more content under there than what is in the build that you're probably running now. So if we go down to here, we'll see that we've got a self-destruct install guide and also the source files that you can download to install this. And there's a few other system settings in here that you can uh, look at a little bit after if you like. Things like changing the background scheme and also uploading uh, your own logo with your company, company brand if you like. Uh, so what we'll do now is I'll, I'll install the, uh, I'll download the source files, which is just an executable file that we run on the machine, and it's just a simple installer that will create a new website. And if I click next, it'll take me to another screen where I'll choose a place to install it, and then we get to this page here where we've we've got to do a few things. So the first is it's asking me to choose a URL which will be used for the portal and by default it will choose the server that you're installing the uh, the portal on because that already has a functioning DNS but for the purposes of this video I've created a different URL in DNS already called self-destruct videos .net and it chooses port 443 for you by default because that's the nicest port to use with HTTPS traffic. However, I've already got um, my password state website installed on this same server using port 443. So I'll have to choose a different port for this separate website that we're about to install. So I'll choose port 8080. And what I'll do now is I'll grab this URL and I'll put that back into my password state system settings. Now this URL that you're seeing here will be embedded in all the emails that are sent out and that's the link that you'll be giving that will be given to your customers um, to access your portal. Uh, what I'll also do here is take a copy of my encryption key and I'll click save on there to save those settings. Now, if we go back to the installer, it's asking me here for that encryption key. So I'll paste that into there and click Next. Now, when, when this uh, install happens, what it will do is create a self-signed certificate for you and it will assign it to your site. However, the self-signed certificates are probably the least secure and the ugliest ones to use because the browsers don't seem to like them. They'll always throw up an error saying that uh, it's a bit of a warning, the certificate's not trusted, so there's a few hurdles you'll have to jump through to make the browser accept the video, uh, accept the certificate, um, to make it a more user-friendly experience for your customers. So what we recommend is uh, if you have access to a certificate authority that you've uh, created in your environment, um, we recommend using a domain certificate if you've already created one, or even better, if you've got a purchase certificate with your company name or domain, um, try and assign that to your self-destruct portal, self-destruct messages portal. Um, that's the most secure and it's the most user-friendly uh, way to access the site. So now that that's complete, it's installed a website on this server. So I'll open up Internet uh, Information Services and if we look under here, you'll see I've got two websites on this server now. And the first is my password state main website. And the second one is this new self-destruct portal. Now, if I go to the bindings, you'll see these. this is the URL that we'll be using to access it. And if I click on the HTTPS binding, 
you'll notice that what it's done is it's created that self-destruct videos.haloworks.net. Now that is a self-signed certificate that the installer created, but I want to use a domain certificate um, and we'll click OK to that and yes and close. So now uh, what we should be able to do is go back into our browser. I'll just quickly grab the full URL which I've already written down to make it easier. And if we go to this URL now, it will take a few seconds to load the first time, but this is basically our self-destruct portal um, where your customers will go to. So if you've got a message, it will be displayed here. If there's no messages active for them, um, it will show this message on the screen now. So that's it for this video. That's how to install the new portal separately. Um, we, we will be doing another video on how to configure it a little bit better, um, change the branding and how to actually use a self-destruct message. So please um, like our YouTube channel and subscribe to it if you like or just look out for our Facebook or Twitter um, posts and we'll um, be notifying you of when we get a new video up for that too. Thanks for watching and we hope this helps.